Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Luke Beller, and this is going to be the part two of the um, basically the recap for NFL Week Six. I just put out part one a few hours ago, and this is the second part. But first off, I'm going to cover the Bears game just because it has some implications, you know, for the Packers, considering we are in the same division. So the Bears did win their game, 23 Panthers, 16. So the Bears moved to five and one for the season. Panthers moved to three and three. And the reason that's important is now because the Packers had a bye last week. That means with the Bears now being 5-1, and one, as you can see here on the screen, the Bears moved ahead of the Packers to the top of the NFC North. Of course, if the Packers wouldn't have had a bye, maybe we'd, but we'd both be 5-1 and one and it could be different. But for now, at least, the Bears have moved to the top of the division at 5-1. and one. Packers are 4-1. and one. And, um, you know, if we take a look at this Bears team, all six games I've had have been one score contests and this offense honestly hasn't looked very good and their defense is sort of the part of their team. I think that's just very good, um, but their offense so far honestly hasn't looked that good and their defense has really kept them in games and allowed them to um, pull off a five and one record so far in the season. So if we take a look at the game yesterday, the Bears Z had four sacks and three takeaways um, during that game. So they really um, held up for that uh, Bears offense. And if we take a look at Nick Foles' stats for that game, he was 23 of 39, 198 yards, one touchdown and one interception. So their offense didn't play well, um, really that well during that game. And it was their defense that kept them in the game. Of course, if you get three takeaways and, you know, you're sacking the other team's quarterback like crazy, then of course you have a good chance of winning. And considering the Panthers, like, aren't that good of a team either, um, the Bears are able to pull that one off only by seven points. So now the Bears are... Five and one, but honestly, I don't know if it's going to stay that way for a while. We'll see in the next few weeks if, uh, you know, the Packers can move back up ahead of them. I just want to cover that part in this video first and then get on to the other few games I wanted to cover for um, the rest of week six recap, basically. All right, so the next game I'm going to talk about is the Giants and Washington. As you can see, Giants won this game 20 to 19. It was pretty much a defensive battle. Um, both teams' defenses played pretty well. Their offenses, you know, both aren't great considering now both teams are one and five. There's not that much to love on these teams, but the fact that they were playing each other made it a pretty close game. Um, Daniel Jones, 12-19, 112 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He, I mean, that's those are pretty bad stats for a quarterback. But um, he did run the ball seven times for 74 yards, so that helped him out a little bit. And then uh, Freeman had 18 carries for like 60-something yards um, during that game as well. And then Kyle Allen for the uh, Washington football team, he played all right, 31-42, 280 yards, two touchdowns. But the part that sort of, um, I guess, sort of hurt the – Washington football team was the fact that Kyle Allen did have two turnovers, which, you know, in a game that was so close, um, really did affect them. He threw one, one interception and he had a fumble later in the game, which allowed the Giants to come back and uh, get the game winning score. And Washington honestly had a chance to come up and tie it up at the end of the game, but they ended up, you know, going for a two one conversion. I guess they wanted to pull off the victory, ended up missing it. So they lost by one point. So that is. Um, that's all for that game. Next game, we got the Broncos beating the Patriots 18 to 12. The Broncos moved to two and three. Patriots are now two and three. And um, in this game, honestly, the Broncos were leading a majority of the game. They were up 18 to three in the fourth quarter. The Patriots just really couldn't get anything moving um, throughout the entire game, really, until the end. They got a little bit. They got, got a little bit going. Um, but it's interesting because the Broncos. All 18 points came from field goals. So Brandon McManus had six field goals, two 50-plus yard field goals. So, um, you know, the Broncos couldn't get into the end zone, but it obviously didn't really matter in this game. They got him in a position to, you know, kick field goals, and he made all six of them. So, you know, good job, Brian Mc, Brandon, not Brian, Brandon McManus. So he really uh, helped this Broncos team in that game. Philip Lindsay also 101 yards rushing. Um, but, yeah, Drew Locke, I think he had been injured, but he came back in this game. Um, but in the end, he had back-to-back -back interceptions, which allowed the Patriots to have a chance to come back. You know, it was 18-3. Patriots came back, made it 18-12, but they weren't able to come back all the way with Cam Newton. So this Patriots team is now 2-3 and three with Bill Belichick. I think it's like the first time they started this 2-3 uh, and three with Bill Belichick since like 2002. So, you know, the Patriots aren't really loose to uh, – basically used to losing that much. Next game, we got Jets. Where we are we? Jets 0, Dolphins 24. I mean, the Jets just bad. There's not much more to say about the Jets. They lost Le'Veon Bell, so they got even worse. And so now they're, what, 0-6. Dolphins moved to 3-3. Three and three. Um, The Dolphins had the Jet, held the Jets to about 263 yards. And the Jets were 2-17 on third downs. And, you know, Joe Flacco was sacked three times during the game. So the Jets just couldn't get anything moving, couldn't really do anything, just like it's sort of been the pattern all season. They can't really do much. Um, the Dolphins were able to hold up. Ryan Fitzpatrick played pretty well. 18 for 27, 191 yards, and he had three first-half touchdowns. Um, but he did also throw two picks at the end of the game. But it was enough to 
give the Dolphins a win. And Tua got to come and play a few snaps. So, you know, that's good. Good job for him. Um, and then, of course, we got the Packers Buccaneers. I already put this one out, of course, considering this is mainly a Packers channel. But just so you know, short little recap, Packers get blown out by the Buccaneers. You know, Aaron Rodgers has two picks. Um, one cut gets – one is a pick six. From that point on, the Packers just couldn't get the ball moving, couldn't do anything really. And paid, or the Buccaneers just – just beat us. So that's all for that one. I've uh, I already covered that one. I'll put that link below if you haven't seen the full the full breakdown. And then the last game we got is the Rams 16 49ers 24. Um, in this game, Jimmy Garoppolo three touchdowns in the first half. Um, he went 23 for 33, 268 yards. So a pretty good game from him. And those touchdowns were to Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and Brandon Ayuk. Um, and so at half it was 21 to six. The Rams ended up coming back, uh, but not nearly enough down losing by eight points um the 49ers didn't really get to move the ball that much in the second half i can see only got three points in the second half but um the first half scores from garoppolo obviously were enough to um you know keep the 49ers afloat so now the 49ers move to three and three um moving up closer to the rams in that division the rams are now four and two and so it's a little bit closer there that's a great division um you know that those teams are in and then jared goff went 19 for 38 198 yards two touchdowns one interception so pretty bad it's almost like a 50 percent completion percentage so not a great game from Goff. um that's probably one area where you know they needed him to perform much better complete a lot more passes for them to have a chance uh, only lost by eight so if he would have played a little better they could have maybe had a chance in that game um and then george kittle for the 49ers played it had a great game seven receptions 109 109 yards and one touchdown um to you know give that 49ers team a victory but those are all the games i uh, if you haven't seen the first part i put put out that a little bit earlier today so i'll link that down below but, um, yeah, it's basically what I wanted to break down, just go over all the games for this week. Um, of course, it's Monday that I'm filming this, and so there is a game, I think, going on right now and then one a little later tonight, but I'm not going to be going over those considering I'm filming right now. So that is all I want to break down in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe if you want to see some more content in the future. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.